What do you make of this? It sounds a little bit niche to some people in the midst of the cost of living crisis to be talking about this. But then you've got somebody who's very seriously experienced in frontline politics like Robert Halfen saying we must grab hold of this issue. Well, the two are inextricably linked. Everyone right now is uh, managing their money or worrying or thinking or dealing. We deal with it every single day, right? So, uh, you know, hearing these numbers... You know, whether, frankly, yeah, 24 million is a big number, but even a million would be a big yeah. number. You know, yeah. unable to really feel confident about it. That That is, it's it's just astonishing. And I'm glad we have the number. I'm glad we're all shocked because that means we might actually do, you think do big, something about it. Do you think big business, without sounding too conspiratorial, do you think big business quite likes the fact that people are scared of the fine print, that people don't like to talk about money, that... People feel it's beyond them to get their arms around these kind of issues. It makes us more vulnerable, doesn't it? It's being ripped off. It does, and it's actually something that's always frustrated me about the city. It's part of why I started Blonde Money, in fact, yeah. was to make complicated jargon make more sense. And that actually goes to the fact that even though my clients are quite sophisticated, they, they, it's... It's amazing, isn't it, that, you know, interest rates, inflation, these really important topics that affect all our lives completely confuse people. And um, I, I've, it's always been a, a passion of mine to ensure people understand it better. Uh, I can't think of a better way to start than, than you know, young, young years, you know, primary school. P people, we all know that. We, you know, the sooner mm. you get started on this, mm. the easier it is. It demystifies it, doesn't it? Makes, yes. makes it seem not scary anymore. Exactly. It's not scary.